Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Happy, Happy Saturday. Woo. Happy 2018. Yes. Happy Martin Luther King weekend. Yes. yes. It's a lot yes. going on. I'm telling you, today is just off the chain. Woo. In spite of whatever tried to come our way to hinder us for this day, mm. we are ah. here live and in living color. We got this Okay, one. we got it. We got God got us. That's That's right. I'm telling you, so yes, many things have tried to come Woo. even in the last 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't tell it because we are live yes, we here are. in the studio yes. and four sisters. Yes. Live. <laughs> What's up, Charlene? This is Charlene, everybody. Charlene is in the house. Charlene. Hey, Peg's in the house. Wyoming is in the house. Linda's in the house. And we are Four, Four Sisters, Sisters Live. Live. We are so happy once again. I'm telling we're going to get right to it. We have so much going on. Power Pack show today. It is going to be so awesome. I'm telling you, it's getting hot in here, but we're not going to take our clothes off. We don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hot in here she with information hot. power. Yes. Yes. We have some people here today. Our guest is off the chain. I'm telling you, if you're ready to get your life in check for 2018, get your motivation. This is Motivational January. Yes, it is. And yes, we want to start you all off right because we have you in mind. Yes. And reference to how we want our lives to impact other people. And we know this is Martin Luther King a weekend mm. celebration. We are excited yeah. because these this is what we live for, to have the, the shoulders that we are on now as far as what we're doing here as, a, as right. a people. That's yes. right. He has empowered us in, in so many ways. So many ways. Take, oh my God, so, so forever for us to just really say how much Martin Luther King really, really impacted wow. All of us. Yes. yes. That he, we will have dreams. Yeah. yeah. Dreams. And we're dreaming now. And we're dreaming now. Continuously to dream. Yes. It's That's about all. the dreams. And thank you, Dr. King, yes. for giving us what God gave you when he said dream. Because we could dream endless. That's right. Forever. Yeah. And it's so important that we do that. And, so, and, this, and this is the whole platform, is to bring in people that will inspire us to push us, to make things happen. I, I'm just taken back of the talent that we have in the midst yes. of what we do. Yes. And so we're, all we're doing is providing a platform so they can come in here, share with us, so that we can share with you. And this yes. is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Sisters for Sisters. Sisters for Sisters. Network. Network, yeah. Network. It's all about. Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. And thank you, Peggy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, no. Thank God. This is teamwork, honey. <laughs> We, we do this together, we're no matter what we you. do. It started, <laughs> with, yes. and it started with a dream, speaking of And it a was a dream, mm -hmm. yes. It was a dream of yeah. you know, Mrs. Peggy Morris to start Sisters for Sisters Network, and, you know, it evolved to this right here, you know, for Sisters Live, and I think that's so important. Yeah. And some of you have dreams out there, and you're like, well, mm. no one's joining in with me, no one's tagging it, and it's just one or two of us. Where that's where it starts at, yeah. you know, because there was only one person with Martin Luther King, and so right. and he I, was dreaming. Yeah, he was just dreaming. Yeah. He was dreaming. He was just dreaming. Don't worry about yeah. who's not going to be with yeah. you when it's time for you to do your thing, because God yeah. is going to place people yes. in your life. It's so you just keep them. doing what you need to do yeah. and live out your purpose-filled life. That's so and powerful. It's gonna, mm. It is very powerful. You oh, know, we can talk about that. That that alone, a dream yeah. alone, is worth a thousand. You know, and we had someone yeah. last week who wrote a book. We before last, but that's a man of yeah, man I'm, I'm still in that book. I read yeah. it before we left day 12. There you, you go, girl. Yeah, I'm so success. proud of you. I am. I'm, proud of I'm you serious. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. It's day 13. It's day 14. Pick it up. I am so proud of her, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm we've been having a whole lot of stuff going on. There's so much going on, yeah. but you know what? Hey, I got a dream. Like, right there. I can cry right there because I got a dream. Like, you got a dream? Uh, I, got I a keep dream. a dream. I'm like, I got a going. dream, and I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so, like, I could, we could have made excuses of not to be here, but you know, I got yes. a dream. I got a dream for this, these sisters. You know, I'm dreaming with these sisters. Yes. You know, I yes. have my own dream, but the bigger dream is when you can unite and collaborate. And so, you know That's what? It. No matter what happens, I'm gonna keep dreaming. I'm gonna make this dream come alive, and that's and how no we are. And no matter what, mm -hmm. we got your back. Oh, 
We got, we got your, your back. back. We got, we got your back. back. We got, back. We got, back. We got, we got each other's back. <laughs> That's for certain. We will not let each other go lacking. That's yeah. right. No lack this year. There's no no ooh, lack. Girl, Man, no. Shout. Manifestation. Man, the no mic no up. We want. No. Manifestation. No lack. We want. Absolutely. Why? Why? I like so I want us to take part in all of the activities that's going on this weekend. There's a parade. Martin Luther yeah. King Parade in Southeast that's going to take place. It's taking place, I believe, right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But there are other churches that are going to be doing things that's mm -hmm. going to honor his legacy. And, and so in the community at large, across the yeah. country, um, you know, is going to be doing everything. And don't forget the day of service because find some some place, yes. somehow, Somewhere. to help someone exactly. on Martin Luther King Day yeah. because it's not about shopping. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's about serving. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you find, and you just go online. I looked mm -hmm. online, um, I didn't write it down, but I did. I went online for, um, and it just look under Google service mm -hmm. for Martin Luther Martin King Day, mm -hmm. and you'll find mm -hmm. plenty And And do. you know, um, one of the things that I want to share is that on Monday at 10 o'clock at First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, mm -hmm. for those who are in the DMV, there's going to be a celebration, uh, w WHUR. Mm -hmm is putting this whole piece on. They've been doing it for the past maybe five I've or six before, years. before, yes. And we, Sisters for yes. Sisters yes. Network, mm -hmm. is going to be part of it. Mm -hmm. So if you can come and join us, it's 600 Watkins Park in uh, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Marlboro, 10 o'clock, Monday. Monday. Yes. So with that being said, we're going to take a quick break because we have so much going on. We don't want to take another second. But before we take a break, we I believe we have a caller. We have a caller. Okay. okay uh, well, we're not gonna take a break because I definitely want to get this call in. Yeah. Who's calling? Welcome to Four Sisters Live. Hello, this is Jahi Winston. Jahi, <laughs> yes, Jahi. Bless Ooh. your heart, baby. You are. I am so excited. This young man is doing talking about Dr. Martin Luther King and dreams. He is living his dream, y'all. Awesome. I promise you, this young man here came out the moon with his talent. He was he was ready. Oh, huh? Yes, he was ready. He <laughs> was destined. This, this young man is like I have to adopt him. He's an extended family, but his mom and dad and I go way, way back. So he's like an extended nephew, but I'm gonna claim him. Everyone else has claimed him in Washington. Well, we claim them too. We're claiming yeah. you, sweetheart, Come because here. you are our children. We yes. take all of our children, yes. all of our youth are our youth. No matter if we have birthed you, you know, you are our child because we take Part pride of the family. in making sure our youth excel. I'm so proud yeah. of him. Ladies and gentlemen, on the phone is Jahi Winston. Jahi is, um, is just taking this world by storm already. And he is featured in the movie Sony Pictures and Screen yeah. Jam Proud Mary. Proud Mary. Oh, he Proud is a co-star yeah. with Taraji P. Henson. Yeah. And he is doing it. You all may have, I'm telling you, I'm yes. telling you, you all may have seen him when he was on the new edition story. When yeah. he portrayed, Ooh, yes, yes, Ralph yeah. Trasvon singing. Ooh. Candy Girl. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I can sing a little bit. No worries. <laughs> but, we got your back oh, well, But you know what? <laughs> I'm not just, I don't, he needs no introduction because if you've seen him there, he was, and he started out on Broadway. Wow. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Lion King. Oh, oh my Very God. true. Yes. Very true. Huh? I said that's very true. Yes. Uh, I got your history, baby. I got a little bit of history. <laughs> so let him tell us a little so bit So go about ahead, going uh, Jahi. Tell us what's happening, baby. All right. Well, Right now, Proud Mary is now playing in theaters everywhere, so that's really exciting. Uh, but after Proud Mary, I have a Netflix show uh, called Everything Sucks, a 10-episode, half-hour mm -hmm. uh, Netflix show. And it's this great coming-of-age story, and it's amazing. And I'm, I'm really excited for everybody to see it. Um, and after Everything Sucks, there's also... Um, this um, another great movie that I worked on was Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston, which is also a great uh, um, story that everybody can relate to. And I'm mm. comes out in the spring, and it's called The Upside. And I'm so excited! I'm just really, really excited. Wow. You ought to be. You should wake up every day with a big <laughs> smile on your face <laughs> because it is going up, up, up from here in your life. Now, J Jahi, tell us about your program. I believe you have. A, uh, is it a nonprofit, or you have something called um, Dreams or something? Give us some information about your program. 
Yes, I have a nonprofit or I'm working on a nonprofit organization called You Can Too. And um, it basically goes hand in hand with my single shine. And uh, I'm really excited about it. Uh, the name was actually something that my mom came up with. But um, the reasoning behind it is something that we both wanted to focus on, you know, uh, pushing kids and the youth to uh, believe in their dreams, and especially mm-hmm. the African-American kids mm-hmm. in inner cities, and uh, just really pushing them to broaden their horizons and uh looking for something they can inspire to and uh, not waiting for someone else to spark their own creativity, but to spark mm-hmm. their own themselves. So I'm really excited about that, too. Wow, that sounds like that something that awesome. could be taken across not only in your area. You are based out of Atlanta, correct? Yes. So you're going to start in that, and this is something that can grow across the yeah. globe. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and I'm looking forward to hearing more about your project. What would that entail, your project, in terms of would it be music-related, arts-related? It would be all. You know, we're just trying to reach out to, you know, uh, everybody that we can to really inspire. Uh, I really uh, love going to schools and talking to kids. It would be arts-related. It would be sports-related. It's just really mm-hmm. trying to get them to broaden their horizons and to really inspire them. Well, you inspired wow, me. You inspired us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell us two things I want to know. Your age and how to pronounce your name. Everyone out here may say J-A-H-I, but we don't want to mispronounce your name because it's spelled very uniquely, but we want to be able to pronounce it correctly. Right. So... I'm 14, and my name is pronounced Jahi. Jahi. And does it yes. have a meaning, Jahi? Yes, it's uh, Swahili, West African, and it means uh, a dignity, you know, uh, mm. dignified, dignity. Yeah, it has different meanings in different uh, areas, but my name, uh, the the origin of the origin of my name is Swahili. That is wow, so beautiful. Wow, that is so awesome. And 14. 14. My He's oh, well beyond his years. 14. He's been talented. He's, he comes from a, a talent family. Yes, I can tell. We're going to wow. shout out to his mom, yes, Joaquin, mommy. his dad, yes. Bishop yes. Dr. Daryl yes. Winston out of Atlanta. And wow. you had an opening last night. I saw it on Facebook Live, and you all were phenomenal. So I know the movie <laughs> is like that. You had your two buddies with you that was in New Edition. you just doing it. How was last night? I know the hype and the energy was crazy. Yeah, it was amazing. Last night was just, the energy was just electric, and it was so much fun. That was my first time seeing the movie, and uh, oh, wow. I'm glad I got to saw with all those people that I know. Oh. And uh, last night was just amazing. Yeah. Well, was, tonight it's going to be even, and we're going to extend it because <laughs> you know we got the premiere tonight, right. yeah. ladies and mm-hmm. gentlemen. You should come out to the Hoffman Theater to at least buy your ticket at the Hoffman because the premiere of the private is uh, extended out right now, but we still want you to come meet Jahi, shake his hand, take pictures with him, continue to encourage him, and be there to support our black movies. Yes, yes, yes. 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 That is the main thing. Is that tonight, you said? It's tonight. It it started last night in terms of the opening, because this is the weekend that counts. Yes. You know, to get all to see how it went well and the five star and all the money that it made for the weekend. So we want to flood this weekend across the globe. This show is is across every state. It's not just in the DMV. So all of you all that hear us and the sound of our voice and see us, please go out and support this weekend. Proud Mary with our girl, Taraji P. Henson, who is a D.C. Southeast D.C. lady. Oh, yes, we're proud of her. We're proud of Jahi. We're so happy for you, sweetheart. You can't even imagine how our hearts are just proud of you. We're going to see great things happening for you, and you're setting the tone for others to follow. Continue to be great in all that you do. We're going to see you later on this afternoon. I'll be there, and a lot of our friends and family will be there to support you, okay? We love you. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. I appreciate you. See ya. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It was off the chain for him. Well, I can I'm excited. Oh yeah, my God, I can I'm imagine. excited. I'm excited. Only 14. We, we got to support. Only 14. I, I mean, 14. My that? God. <laughs> He's awesome. But that family, the gift to that so family. He sounds so strong. Has, yeah. has, 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 has put down. a big part. Yeah, yeah they played a so huge important. part. And like, we're going to talk about, you know, the kings later, but just knowing that yeah. you can impact your children to right. greatness.
gifts and bring gifts. out their gifts. Yes. I'm so proud of him. I'm very awesome? proud of him as awesome. well. Yeah. You know, I think mm -hmm. it's wonderful that we can have a young man yeah. to see him start at this mm -hmm. age and then wow. we can watch his life watch, grow. Watch him oh grow. And gosh. watch him grow. He's yes. doing great. To get with Kevin Hart at 14. Oh, Kevin okay. Hart. <laughs> that that's right a big there star. is a that's big star. That's a star. Yes. Kevin is a sweetheart anyway. Yes. Kevin has really He's got a big heart. a lot of people's careers. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about the young lady? She's a comedian, but... He actually found her homeless and helped her. Really? Like, oh my God! Yeah, we gotta like yeah, highlight wow. that particular okay. story. Yeah, but yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so well, we're excited. Yeah. Hello, Facebook. Hi, Facebook. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Love you for joining us and share appreciate out. you. Share, share, yeah. share, and come tonight at Hoffman Theater. Okay. Exactly. So we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you. I've been really trying. On the front line here. Who's this is my baby. My <laughs> oh. I am so happy. You know, um, Monday is Martin Luther King's birthday, and I birthed my son on his birthday. Wow. And so I am so just honored to have you part of the show. Thank you. I am truly honored. Thank you. I love you from the bottom of my heart, Aww. and I can't even believe you sitting beside me. Oh, <laughs> 
Let's get emotional. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Aaron for coming and joining our show. Tell us about who you are and where you've been and where you plan to go and how you're changing lives in Baltimore. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm honored and I'm privileged to be here, be present with my mom today on such a, a great and special occasion um, for a birthday and as well as also uh, for a change of life. Um, life has changed drastically for me and um, as a result of some hardships in life, mm -hmm. um, God has blessed me to be in a great place, great, very great place. I love it. I love it. And my story goes like this. Um, I grew up, wonderful mom, wonderful mom, <laughs> mom that did everything for you to bring you up and raise you uh, with the absence of a father. Mm -hmm. um, but there's one thing that I must say to anybody who's listening, regardless if your mother has a great heart and all the willpower in the world, she can't raise a boy like a man can raise yeah, a boy. Yeah. And she raised me the best way she could. But because of my own um, discretions, I chose to, to use drugs at an early age. Mm -hmm. Started using drugs at 12 and 13 years old in the streets of East Baltimore. Fully blown addicted by 13, 14. Um, reckless in the streets of East Baltimore, mm -hmm. carrying guns and robbing people and just the whole, whole nine yards. And as a result of that, at 17 years old, I got waved into the adult system after being in many, many different um, uh, youth correctional institutions, everything from Hickey School to Montrose to all of the different places where they send you when you, when you, when you don't want to listen. And as a result of that, I got put out of Baltimore City Public Schools. Um, I remember that day. I got put out. Of, <laughs> I got put out of all Baltimore City Public Schools um, at the age of 15. Um, she had to put me out of the house. Um, I was Every reckless, time. and I was completely just out there on my own. So, as a result of that, I wind up robbing people. Um, I wind up um, on a real bad drug stench one day. Couldn't get high, and um, figured I'd go rob somebody coming out of a bank. And um, as a result of that. Um, I wind up uh, getting beat up by the Baltimore City Police Department, um, basically uh, just kicked and stomped and beat uh, into a pulp, um, and wind up finding myself in the Maryland House Correction Penitentiary Annex um, for armed robbery. And um, it, it, was, it was today the best thing that could ever have happened to me. Mm. Um, people have this interpretation of, of prison and, and these places Sometimes prisons are a refuge for, for God to work in somebody's life that's not willing to comply with rules and orders. And if it's God's haven for me to have to go to a place like that in order to get to where I am now, then I say that that was a divine blessing. Mm -hmm. I say that that was, that was the Lord's provisions for me to get my life in order. And as a result of that, um, just to not to take up too much time, um, I went in. I had some idea and some concept of God, but God knows how to put you in a place where now you can really listen. Mm -hmm. and, and as a result of that, uh, I wind up um, getting licensed and getting ordained in the Maryland House Correction Penitentiary Annex. Mm -hmm. um, as a result of that, um, I was able to come home um, at a shorter period of time, the very same the very same judged who sentenced me um there's a story behind that the very same judge that sentenced me um i actually was sentenced to almost 10 years or something but i wind up the judge asked me to speak for myself and i didn't have anything rehearsed i didn't come here with willie's books or anything written on paper but when the spirit of the lord works in your life you don't need to have <laughs> things around you to prompt you you say what you got to say right. because it's in your heart and it'll reach the people mm -hmm. because the people can understand the authenticity of what's being said mm -hmm. and it's not rehearsed right so they asked me to speak and when they asked me to speak i spoke i told her listen i take full and complete responsibility for my behavior I don't blame my mother. I don't blame my lifestyle. I don't blame my lack of father. I blame the fact that I made wrong choices, mm -hmm. that my environment was one that was not conducive to a healthy environment, and I chose to accustom myself to that way of living, and that's how I got here. Mm -hmm. But today is a new day for me, and I've made a drastic change in my life. I've turned my life over to the Lord, 
And now as a result of that, um, I'm willing to walk right and do right. And I wind up getting into the Maryland House Correction Penitentiary Annex, and I was with the uh, uh, chaplain. Chaplain Chaplain Fran was chaplain there at that time. And he licensed me. He ordained me. I found myself ministering to real killers, people who were, were bad guys in the street. Um, I've been out of prison for 26 and a half years now, and I still have a license to go into any prison in, in mm -hmm. the state of Maryland. Um, I still go into prisons, and I minister to people. I minister to people on the streets. I minister to people um, in all different types of ways that the Lord has gifted me and granted me to be able to go back and restore my community. Um, as you know, Baltimore is in crisis. Yes. And a lot of people are afraid to be out there in that. But me, in the element that I grew up in, I have credibility among those out in the streets because they knew what I was like when I was out mm -hmm. there. So it's easy for me to minister to people who are in the streets mm -hmm. because they watch the recklessness that I caused, and now I can go back and I can speak to them. So as a result of that, just to get, get I know we don't have much time. My story can kind of <laughs> yes. inspire yes. someone. We got a, we got a yes. great man before me here, yes. so I want to I want to allot the time and be very respectful yes. Of, yes. Of, of the time that I've been given. Mm. But as a result of that, um, my mom never gave up on me. <laughs> no, I didn't. Mm. Never did. Her praying grandmother, praying mom, never gave up on me. And and, and for anybody out there who who's struggling, or anybody out there that may find themselves in the place where I was, um. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. There's hope. There's hope for anybody who looks up. Because once you go so far down, you have no other choice but, but to look to up. up. Yeah. So I know what that's like. Can nobody convince me of what darkness and hell and what... I know what these <laughs> things look like for myself. And as a result of that, man, I came home and, man, I've been on a journey that has <laughs> blown my mind. I'm talking about literally yeah. blown my mind. And yeah. let me say this, I've had, I believe that I've had the most, the most tumultuous experiences to make me who I am. Mm -hmm. I believe that I've gone Preach. through what I've gone through Preach. to mold <laughs> a, 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 an individual that, that, that not only has an eighth grade education, but can articulate. Um, my first study in prison was in a dictionary and reading some of the books from mentors such as Willie Jolly and George Frazier and guys who, who were who were mentors to me when my mom, I hooked up to my mom, and my mom gave me this first book right here in 2001. Mm. 2001, she gave me this book right here. Mm. One of the so most, you have my book. This, <laughs> this, 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 this is her book. This is her book. And, 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 and this man is a great man. I watched him, and, and, and I learned so much. My business is successful because of you. Uh, Mr. Jolly, and, and I thank you. Uh, the principles that are in your books are more than just uh, for good reading. They, 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 they help you to put practice, applicable practices into your life that will change your life for real. Mm -hmm. And I say this because there's a part of here I want to read about insanity. Then there's another part I want to read in here that I always, uh, I, I, I built my wow. business off of this wow. principle in this book by Martin Luther King. Wow. Right. I built I built my, my my principles of my life are sitting very much in front of me right now. As a result of, of, of hard work and commitment, um, I started a, I actually inherited a cleaning company. I was in the restaurant business. I went to go work for a guy. I needed to pay my child support. I needed a paycheck. I'm like, look, Kevin, I need a job, man. I don't you know, give me whatever. Aaron, you, you know, man, you, you know, you're a smart guy. I don't really see you as you know, working in a cleaning company, but I'll give you something just to get a check. I said, yeah, that's all I want. I just want to check. I just want child support to not take my license again. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't just want to just be all right with child support. So <laughs> right. just give me a check that's real. so I can stay out here and do what I got to do. So what happened was that he gave me a job. At, and, and I'm telling you how good God is. When, 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 when you are walking with God, when you really are authentic and you are walking and living with God, God will position things around you that will help elevate you to your next place of destiny. Yes. Everything around you will be a part of God's greater purpose and plan to take you somewhere. And you won't even know where you are. It's all a part of the plan. And I wind up working in a school in Baltimore City called St. Francis Academy. I'm like, oh, man, these kids down here crazy and all kinds <laughs> of stuff like that. I'm like, man. But I went in there. I cleaned toilets. I cleaned ceilings. I cleaned walls. I did everything that was in the building. I made the building look good. I spoke to the kids. I just, you know, talked to people. And I, and I, just, I just used the personality that I had. I, I, I felt as though I had to fight stronger to, to have success. Why? Because I don't have an education. I only had an eighth, I dropped out in the eighth grade. Mm -hmm. So so I had to go back and get a GED a couple about four years ago. And I'm almost fifty, I'm almost forty-six years, forty-seven years old. 
and I just got a GED. So I had to fight harder to, to, to get where I needed to go because there were more obstacles for me. When you, when you start behind the eight ball and you then find yourself in life and life is maneuvering, all of these things are happening, and you find that, that you have to, you, it's your job to succeed. It's your, it's your, it's your job to, to do whatever it takes to gain the level of success that you want for you and your family. It's your job. Mm. And, and, and I'll never forget, man, I worked for that guy, man. I was at St. Francis Academy. And next thing you know, there was a girl that was supervised. I said, Kevin, I said, she's just not doing what she's supposed to do. Aaron, I'm getting ready to get rid of her. I want to make you the supervisor. Made me the supervisor two weeks after he let her go. And then um, the director of the school came to me and said, uh, um, have you talked to Mr. Bird? His name is Kevin Bird. <laughs> have you talked to Mr. Bird? I said, no, I haven't, I haven't talked to Mr. Bird yet. Um, he said, okay, well, I think you need to give him a call. I said, okay. So I gave Kevin a call. I said, hey, Kevin, what's up? What's, what's going on? Kevin said, well, Aaron, well, um, they, we, we're not going to have a contract no more after this week, so just go ahead and start packing everything up, take everything up to the office, and, and I'll talk to you when you get there. I said, okay, that's cool. That's fine. So I went back around the hallway. I went to the janitor's closet, and I'm in there putting stuff away. So the director came to me and said, well, 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 did you talk to Mr. Bird? I said, yeah. I said, you know, I'm packing up and getting ready to go. He said, well, well, well where are you going? I said, what do you mean, where am I going? <laughs> what do you mean, where am I going? I work for this man. I don't, I don't. I work for another, I work for somebody. Right, right. <laughs> he said, well, yeah, well, we don't want him, but we really like you. Oh, wow. I Ooh. said, well, you know, and my first thing was that I was, I was, it was shocked because I really, <laughs> I didn't know how to handle something good, something like that, because <laughs> I didn't want Kevin to think I betrayed him. Right. So we, got right. This, right. we got this well, thing yeah. in, in the streets of Baltimore where it's a yeah. code, like, yeah. I'm not supposed to cross you and you're not supposed that's to right. cross me. Mm-hmm. And that's how we maintain integrity. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's how we do it. That's how we roll. That's right. how you live and it. I didn't want no beef with Kevin about stealing his business because that's, that's right. not what I did. Right. I didn't do that. Right. And, 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 and I went to, I talked to the director. The director, I said, well, listen, I said, I got to talk to Mr. Bird. I said, because I don't really know, you know, what's going on here. I just work for Mr. Bird. Mm. He said, well, listen, why don't you, after you talk to Mr. Bird, Go find two or three other people that do what you do, and you got a team. Oh. <laughs> now, to somebody that ain't that smart, that made perfectly good sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need a degree to understand that. No. I, didn't, I didn't need nobody to tell me that I need to go to business school, and I need to learn this, and I need to know profit <laughs> and loss. No, I didn't need to. No, I needed to understand, can you go out and duplicate you three other times and bring people back and you got a business? <laughs> My first contract was St. Francis Academy. I went to Kevin, and, I, and Kevin said, man, hey, I know you ain't take nothing from me. You know, you were there doing a good job. I don't feel bad about it. If you feel as though it's something that you want to do, then you have my blessings. That's good. And he kind of, like, gave me the okay. And, man, I went back to St. Francis Academy. I took my niece, I took my wife, and I took my brother, a, a cousin of ours. Man, do you know that was my first contract? Um, Six thousand dollars a month. I didn't even know what to charge him. I was like, "Well, what do I charge you?" You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> so I went and shopped around to other places. I found out what other people were charging. Yeah. Went back, wrote a proposal up. Never wrote a proposal in my life. This one, I'm gonna, <laughs> this one I'm gonna do for you, and this is what you're gonna pay me. This is how I'm gonna do it. This is the way it needs to be done. I, I put all this. Just, I, I didn't have no. There was no. There was. God I didn't mind. have anything God. to to help yeah. me. I just yeah. said what makes sense. Right. Yeah. You grew yeah. up with Keep mother wit. And yeah. grandmother wit, yeah. use that right now yeah. to just make sense yeah. out of a situation. Right. Yeah. So, so let me just let me just get to that. <laughs> Aaron, let me ask you, how long have you been in business? The name of your business and how long you've been. <laughs> the name, the name of my business is ASB, A period, S period, B period, cleaning services, and mm-hmm. we've been in business for eleven years. And um, we started with our first contract at St. Francis Academy eleven years ago, which is the the first and only historical black. Uh, school is actually mm-hmm. Harriet Tubman, where we cleaned mm-hmm. that. Underneath the bottom is where the chains were for the slaves. Wow. Underneath wow. the bottom of the history. school. I didn't understand how much rich history I was sitting on. Right. right. And when it went on my resume, it looked really good. <laughs> <laughs> my resume says that I started from the first historic, I mean, black nuns. Oblique sisters were the, still are the senior black nuns in the whole entire country Ooh. that's known as an all-black nun organization. And they oh, wow. actually were the ones who were hiding Harriet Tubman's and his slaves up underneath for St. Francis Isn't Academy. That wow. It's the only historical school in the whole entire country that will never be torn down. Wow. You are so That's blessed. Awesome. Wow. So you are wow. so blessed that you are blessed. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're blessed. We met your mom. Yes. And you're here. You. 
and this is an awesome Thank story. You. I know you are out just impacting changing lives, Baltimore, but many people Thank across you. your yeah. within your community. Yes, ma'am. And we love you because your mom is here. <laughs> Humble. And we thank you so for very coming. Love your story. Yes, love we your story. We want to hear more. Well, I know yes. you tell that story everywhere you go. Yeah. Pretty awesome much story. in your own you way. You see how emotional he gets yeah, with that. I was about to say, where's some tissue? I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. telling you, I am yeah. just so filled with your story. Yeah. You. I just want to say one thing before we close this. So sure. I have a, have a minute Absolutely. or something? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I just want to say that now as a result of uh, of that 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 that. That one job that I was given, I now have uh, 15 contracts between uh, state contracts. I have Maryland Public Television, parole and probation, which Maryland Public Television is the only uh, television st station owned by the state of Maryland. The governor has given us stellar awards for changing and transforming the television station into a place of great magnitude and excellence. Um, that is the that is that is the name of you know the, the motto for my company is excellence is our standard. Um, I exude ex excellence. We went from three employees to now 65. Um, we have uh, we have equipment. We have trucks. We have contracts all throughout the state of Maryland. I work personally for uh, for Madam Pugh uh, to do uh, stuff in Baltimore. Um, I have contracts all over the place from private school sectors. I have Catholic schools. Um, I've been able to employ people that others wouldn't employ. I've been able wow. to use my business as a resource to help provide mm -hmm. income for others. Um, all of my family members have worked. People have brought cars. People have brought houses. Um, the, wow. you know, so people you have, lives. have really, lives. really been, you, been yeah. impacted by the business. Has anyone from the community that you saw the in the streets that you have brought back and helped them to get a job? Absolutely. Absolutely. I've seen several different people um, come back into our community. Um, I have a friend, his name is uh, Eric Gilliam. Him and I both, um, he's a young guy too. He owns uh, dump trucks in Baltimore City. We both are licensed um, state and city MBE, which is Minority Business Enterprise uh, owners and operators. Um, we both are certified and we both do things that help people to get jobs. So when we have guys that come from prison, we are our own recidivism. We bring people in. We train them, mentor them with our own sense of entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. and we give them employment and jobs, and we have programs and just everything in Baltimore <laughs> that you really could use <laughs> to be a hub to help yeah. people to yeah. be restore them back to society and put them back on their feet again. So Aaron, can you give oh. us a phone number yeah. and Absolutely. your information to those out there who Absolutely. are watching? And Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and you. then after that, I have to hear. At least I just want. You, one I, of these. I just want. I just I want to just give hear. you. I just want to give you. <laughs> I just want to. I'm gonna this. give you this one because this is yes. Martin Luther King. I want to give you this one. This okay, one about okay. insanity is is really good. Yeah, like Willie said, you got 60 seconds in. Yeah, that, hey, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Your phone number. My phone number is area code four four three three nine two. 4057, and my office is located at 4920 Bel Air Road in Baltimore, Maryland, 21206. And uh, um, our website is ASB Cleaning Service uh, at VB. Sometimes we have the website. So. <laughs> okay. um, it's asbcleaningservice.vpweb.com. So if you want to go on there and check us out, you'll see all of our sites. You'll yeah. see that we do snow removal, landscaping. We do power washing. We do window cleaning. We do all full services. And we just got certified by the state of Maryland to do facilities. So we'll be doing state contracts starting oh, um, this year right here. So we went from city. Went from private sector to city to state. Now we get ready to go federal this year, okay, 2018. That's what you're doing. All right. What's your, what is that you yeah. want to inspire those as uh, we close? I just, I just, I just, I just want to read this from from one of my 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 personal um personal mentors who who I've watched and who I've studied his literature and, and put it into practice. But but this is how I exude and, and understand excellence. Okay. Um, I don't always uh, people have classified me as a janitor. I'm all right with that. I'm going to tell you why I'm okay with that. On, on this page right here, it says the path to excellence. It says, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the host of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. This was a quote recorded by Martin Luther King Jr. And then this is what Willie writes right after that. He says, excellence is a word used frequently, but its equality or, or, or quality is rarely attained. Webster's Dictionary defines excellence as that which is of the best and finest quality. 
that which is superior, outstanding, and first class. And that's how wow. I've tried to live my life. I tried to live my life in a life of excellence with such great quality, um, beyond approach, Try mm-hmm. to make sure that my life reflects a level of excellence where people hear my name and know my name and know that it's one of integrity, it's trusted, and it's one that uh, you can rely on and you can depend on. So I want to say to you, sir, as you come, uh, thank you for, yeah. for, for all the great and mighty work that you've done for, yeah. for my mom, you know, meeting George Frazier, and just what you've done uh, in the life of her son. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank all <laughs> you ladies. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Take up too much time. Uh, sorry. To- oh, Okay, before we go to break, uh, we have so much going on. But, Carla, are you still there? Is... Welcome to Four Sisters Live. Hello. 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 That's my minister there. I've been listening to you from the beginning, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that what's, is my minister. What's your and name? I, my name is Brother Albert. Brother, Brother Albert. Albert. Yes, ma'am. Brother, Brother Albert. Albert. He's the, he's, he's, he's really I've been listening friend. to you ladies all the way through, and I just want to celebrate today with uh, my minister Aaron and his mother for the great things that God has done in his life. Yes. And I thank you, minister. This, this guy, he didn't tell you the whole story. He didn't have enough time. Right. But this man not only mentors to other people, but he has mentored directly to me. And he's allowed me mm-hmm. to see God in a way that nobody else could. Mm-hmm. I could call him any time. He's got a beautiful heart. He's got a beautiful <laughs> heart. And he always is suffering for other people. He used to call himself uh, of the wounded healer because he could help everybody else, but he couldn't help himself. So I just want to call in real quickly and say thank you, Minister, thank you. for being thank my you. friend. Thank you for thank being you. my mentor. Thank, thank you for being my friend. Thank you very much yes. for everything that you have deposited into me today. So I thank you, and I bless you, holy, his holy name, for your wonderful uh, life. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. This is what it's about. <laughs> On Martin Luther King weekend, this yes. is what it's all about. Day giving back and, he's still and growing and helping others along the yes. way. Pulling and I just want to wish you happy birthday. Yes, happy yeah, happy birthday. Happy Martin Luther King's birthday. Yes. Okay. See, this is why he's a great name. Right. As well, right. Because he was born on Martin Luther yeah. King's birthday. It was destined. I believe it was divine that, yeah. that I was born on Martin Luther King's birthday because I, I, I'm a great preacher, and I don't say that arrogantly, but because I've learned how to accept my call in life, and I've learned how to use my gifts for the glory of God. And it's something that I watched my mentor, Martin Luther King, do so well, is change the minds of people through his vernacular and through his ministry, and he's changed the world. And I'm on the same path to change the world, Ooh, to change right. the life of people Ooh. that I come in contact with. And um, let God be glorified in the work that I do. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. Well, we're so happy you came. Love you much. Thank and you. And for those of you who want to contact him, we'll be having the information out there for you to contact Business him. You should be able to have some information. Mm-hmm. So we got another great man coming. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. Right Stay right back. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in.
Wow. Wow. <laughs> that yes. was incredible. Yes. Wasn't it that incredible? Aaron is incredible, mm. and I am so incredible. grateful yes. for his story. Yes. Uh, his story. His story blessed me mightily, and I just want to uh, applaud him for being a man of integrity who let God get the glory, okay? Yeah. He changed his life, but he is now letting God, people know that God can change your That's future right. if right. you're willing to let him. So I, wa I was so moved by that. And I'm grateful. Woo! Grateful. To be with yeah. my sisters. Yeah. 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 So big brothers oh, again. Grateful, <laughs> grateful, grateful. Woo! Well, let's get it on. I have only just a minute, only 60 oh, seconds in it. Forced yes. upon me, can't refuse it, didn't seek it, didn't choose it, but it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it. Give account if I abuse it. Just a tiny little minute, but an eternity is in it. Greetings to everybody who's watching. I've tweeted about it and told them to turn on. So we got the, the new show. This is hot, new, exciting show yeah. where the yeah. sisters, Yes. And for those who don't know, <laughs> let me make it clear. It's called yeah. Sisters for Sisters, Sisters Incorporated Network, Network yeah. Incorporated. Yeah. And so uh, I'm honored that I was able to be a, a small part of their launch and getting off the small ground. No, and, uh, <laughs> and the fact that I am able to celebrate with them 15 years just recently. Right. And I was there for the celebration. And so very grateful for that. And so as we start this new year, a couple of things I want to give you because we got, we got a great singer who is also, I want to make sure we get her on so we can hear her beautiful voice. <laughs> uh, look at this. She's pretty too. All right. <laughs> she sing and pretty. Anyway, y'all know uh, a couple of things are very exciting. We are celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, weekend this weekend. Right. And tomorrow, uh, not more, tomorrow morning, uh, um, Monday morning at 9 o'clock, I'm going to do a special Facebook Live message uh, online that I want everybody to join us with because I'm going to share the success lessons that I learned from Martin Luther King that changed my life. And so I want to encourage people to get around your computer, around your phone. It's going to be uh, Willie.Jolly is my Facebook uh, page and and. Follow me at Willie.Jolly. And if you got IG, it's the real Willie Jolly. And then uh, all the rest of the Twitter is just Willie Jolly. Now, Martin Luther King inspired me. And as we begin this new year, he inspired me. When I was starting my speaking career now 25 years ago, I always looked at his messages and how he painted pictures in my mind with his words. Mm -hmm. And I said, if yeah. I can just learn to tell people my message in a way that I can paint pictures. This is before PowerPoint. So you didn't have a thing called PowerPoint. Right. And so we had to become uh, connoisseurs of words. We had to become experienced uh, communicators with words. So I'm grateful that Martin Luther King said some things I want to share with you today. One of the things he said is, you got to keep moving. Yes, keep right. moving forward. If you can fly... Good. But if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But just keep moving forward. And now, now, one of the things that always inspires me, if you've ever heard me, for many people know I've been for the last couple of years on the Get Motivated Tour. I replaced Zig Ziglow on the tour. Mm -hmm. And I had the honor of opening the, uh, every city. We did over 80 cities. We do two a, a week for the last couple of years. Uh, we would, I would open and my friend Les Brown would close. And so I would tell this story that I wanted to share with people. Because how did Martin Luther King get to be great? Well, when he was 15 years old in the summer of 1944, his father took him to Morehouse College to the office of the president, Benjamin Mays. And he knocked on the door. Dr. Mays had come in. Dr. Uh, father, Daddy King walked in with his teenager and said, Dr. Mays, my old friend, so good to see you. I want to introduce you to my son, ML. Oh, well, we call him ML. His real name is Martin Luther King Jr. He's 15. He's very bright. He graduated from high school at 15. He's very bright. He's going to college here in the fall, and I believe he has something great inside him, but he's missing something. No, I don't need, need tuition. It's bigger than that. No, I don't need room and board. It's more critical than that. I came to ask you, would you teach my boy how to dream big dreams? Mm -hmm. Would you treat, teach my boy how to dream impossible dreams? And Dr. Mays gave young ML a piece and said, you read this piece every day and it will change your life. And ML read the piece 
and it changed his life, and he read it every day. One day I got hold of that piece. I started reading it every day. It changed my life. And I put it in my first book, It Only Takes a Minute to Change Your mm-hmm. Life. Mm-hmm. And, and then I put it in my uh, fourth book, uh, Setback Set Up for a Comeback, and then Setback Turn Setbacks into Greenbacks. It's a simple piece. It said, it must be borne in mind mm-hmm. that the tragedy of life does not lie in not reaching your goals. No. The tragedy lies in not having a goal to reach for. It is not a calamity to die with your dreams unfulfilled, but it is a calamity not to dream. It is not a disaster to be unable to capture your ideals, but it is a disaster to have no ideals to capture. It is not a disgrace not to reach the stars. But it is a disgrace to have no stars to reach for. It's not failure, but low aim. That's mm-hmm. sin. Mm-hmm. So we must not sin by having short aims, small, short thinking, limited vision. Mm-hmm. Our vision must be broad. It must be bold. It must be expansive. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying to everybody, start dreaming bigger this year. 2018, I want you to dream bigger than you think is even possible. I want you to do a couple of things we're doing in our household. We're first taking inventory of where we are. Yes. You know, people set goals and have resolution. Well, don't do resolution. Waste of time. But set some goals. <laughs> and uh, set some goals. They must be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, achievable. realistic, and time-bound. Mm-hmm. So but before, as I'm setting my goals, I want to know. So I say I want to... I, well, everybody says they want to lose more weight. Well, how much? So I set it. I set a goal. I know, first of all, where I start. So I took inventory. I wrote my starting weight and said by X date, which will be, make it time bound, I'm going to be at this weight. And my goal at the end of the year is to make sure that I maintain it. Because one of my challenges over the year, I hit my goal and then I fall <laughs> off the wagon. All right. So, so that's one thing. Second is how much money do you have? What's your net worth? Well, I mean, your net worth is your income versus your liability. So your net worth. So discover, decide to go and take the time and say how much of that income you're going to grow. You're going to double your income, double your retirement, redouble your 401k. Find out what it is and set a goal to hit it. And and go through all your goals like that. You say you want to spend more time with God. Well, let's make a goal a that you're going to read the Bible daily or, or pray daily. Put it in your schedule. And so I want to encourage everybody to set some powerful goals. If you don't know how to set goals, which is the one reason most people don't, don't do, do it, it. Exactly. is uh, and it's hard. Well, I'm going to give you some help. Go to Jolly U, J-O-L-L-E-Y, the letter U, U. dot com, backslash, slash goals. And I have a whole seminar on how to set goals. I walk you through it. So go to Jolly U dot com slash goals. Now, uh, she asked my sweet Peggy, asked me, how your mama, by the way? Mommy doing fine. Mommy doing good. I like Every time she said I like when she said mommy doing good. I love her mother. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, she asked, Peggy asked about my wife. And most people know I'm a newlywed. Uh, June 28th, my bride and I will celebrate 33 years of marriage. <laughs> and so I still say I'm a newlywed, still a honeymoon phase. We have, we're grateful. Um, people know about my book. It only takes a minute to change life. Now, you said, who is this guy? Who is this guy with the hair? Yeah, that's that's the same guy without hair. There you go. <laughs> and a beard. Anyway, that's me. Uh, almost 30 years ago yeah, now, you yeah. know. So then my book, most people know, is a setback. There's a setup for that's a comeback, all that's right, which has taken me globally. Then my book turned setbacks into greenbacks. Now, I encourage everybody to go get all of these at willyjolly.com. But here's where we at. The new book, Mm -hmm. Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last. Uh 10 (laughs) Secrets for Shaping a Great Marriage. My wife and I wrote this book together. It's taken us a couple years, and this book has taken off. We got a call last week from Kuwait. Mm-hmm. who said, how can we get this book? We saw an interview online that did on PBS on the Rock Newman Show that was the most profound marriage interview I've ever heard. I said, wow. wow. And so you can get that interview at jollymarriage.com. It's an hour. No breaks, no commercials. It's powerful. How I met her, how we, go through the ch- how we went through the challenging times, how we haven't had an argument in over 30 years. Mm-hmm. And how is that because... We learned some principles. Those first couple of years were like World War III. But we learned some <laughs> principles after those first couple of years that helped us to be able to be happy, healthy, and love life. So go to jollymarriage.com. Get your free chapter on how to 
disagree without being disagreeable, which is Love about it. how we mm-hmm. don't argue anymore. And that will help you in every part of your life. Mm-hmm. And then if you decide to get the book, get two copies, mm-hmm. one for you and one for your significant other so y'all can read it together because mm-hmm. y'all can be on the same page same and y'all time. can grow together at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I just am grateful to be here. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all are so awesome. Mm-hmm. And now no, y'all don't know why no. me now. No, no. I, now I've known Peggy. <laughs> Peggy is my friend for a long time. I've known Wyoming uh, for I don't want to say how many years. That's just before <laughs> that book. Before that Because we, we were together. singing together. We oh, were singing together. Oh, hey, that's right in the studio. And that's oh, you're been, kidding. Yeah. This is uh, my brother from another mother. Absolutely. Uh, Al, Johnson, Al Johnson, uh, Gene Kahn, oh, Phyllis God. Hyman. Wow. We, we, go we go way, wow. way, we way do back. back. This in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. This man so that's saying to us that we're in good company, right? Well, you know each other. Uh, To God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory for the things he has done. We get started, we might have a shot up in here. But we've done singing for years together, and so I'm just grateful. I want to congratulate you. Oh, Willie. Okay, now here's what I want everybody to do. Listen carefully. You've got to support this show. You've got to put this on your social media. Thank You've got you. to tell Lottie Dottie and everybody yeah. to make this a part of their weekly routine. Yes. Because, see, this show only survives and only grows if you spread the word. And in That's a time it. of social Thank media, you. we need you to spread the word. My, my XM show now, uh, Sirius XM Channel 141, is the number one self-help show in America, but it didn't start that way. Mm-hmm. It, it started as just a blip on the screen. Mm-hmm. But you know what? All the great rivers started with a drip. Mm-hmm. All right. Ah, they started with a drip. Yes. And as long as you don't stop dripping, dripping. And then things will start to grow. <laughs> so keep dripping on this show. Drip, 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 drip. Tell everybody. Tell them these ladies got great guests. They got great energy. They got great uh, uh, information. Yes. And make this a part. And then what I want you to do is get the link after this is over. You can, if you didn't hear Aaron's testimony, I'm going to get the link. Can I get the link? Yeah. Yeah. I got to share Aaron's yeah. testimony with other folks. Get the link and then share with others. Your cousin yeah. needs to hear that. Somebody in jail needs to hear yes. his story yes. and know that it is possible yes. and that your past does Woo. not determine your future. Yes. Oh, yes. Alright, look, I know we gotta get this yes. beautiful Woo. singer up here. I just wanted to be a no. All right, she yeah. no. just let her sing. Go ahead and sing, girl. Sing. Sing. She got, yeah, we got Okay, right, come, right. on, come on, come on. Quick, quick break. Quick break. I love y'all. God bless yeah. y'all. Thank you, uh, God bless y'all. Woo. We'll be right back. We have a phone call. Okay, wait a minute. Somebody may want to have yeah. something to say. Yeah. Go we ahead. Wanted. We're so excited. Are you still there, caller? Caller? How are you there, caller? Hey, say something. I think I shy. You're not shy, are you? Oh, I see you Yeah. Well, when we All come right. back off this break, if they come up, then we'll make sure we get them in, okay? Thank you. So, Thank but we'll be right back. We'll be right, right back. Then we'll. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
we are pro- we are just ex- Ooh, we so excited. Wow, yeah. yeah. well, it took us by storm. Oh my God! We have to regroup. We're going into the second one. But before we leave, we want to thank definitely Aaron for coming. Yes, Aaron, you have really, really just encouraged us today. He has always inspired me. Yes. And, and thank you, Mom. Yes. Well, thank God. That's all for I can say. For staying in God. prayer and staying yeah. in faith yeah. and believing your son. Because that's yeah. what it takes for baby. our yeah. moms yeah. never to give up on our children. Yeah. So bless you. We cannot go out without saying thank you to thank our you, brother. Thank you, Willie. Our big brother, yes. Willie Jolly. Yes, yes. indeed. Thank he you. is world-renowned. He's known all over. So, so please go to his site, Willie Jolly. WillieU.com backslash goals. No, jollyu.com. Jollyu.com backslash, backslash goals. And then WillieJolly.com. WillieJolly.com. And then JollyMarriage.com. And JollyMarriage.com. Oh. Yes. So and let me, let me say one thing. And for those who do not know, people try to figure out where Sisters for Sisters Network came from. Yeah. It was from the very first workshop that Willie like and I connected. Yeah. That's when I connected with Sharon Bullock, because Sharon Bullock uh, showed up. Sharon and I hadn't seen each other since Morgan. I know it's at least, what, 20 years? And that's how Sisters for Sisters Network was birthed, from WAP, from Willie Jolly, who made it happen for us to inspire us to go to the very first Power Networking Conference. And that's how we connected with George C. Frazier. Mm. So that, that's history. our history. That's yes, our history. legacy. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank that. you. So right now we're going to introduce. You know how we do it here. We bring entertainers in so that we can always have a platform for our artists, our local That's artists awesome. that we want to shine. Yes. And today we have who is she today? Sharice, Sharice Jones. Jones. She's one of the members of Sisters for Sisters Network Incorporated. Yes. Yeah. So we want to showcase Sharice. all of yeah, our, our of, members yes. and women around the world. Mm-hmm. Why not use this platform? Why not use this platform? There you Why go. Not? Thank you, Sharice, for coming, and we're going to hear a little bit of Sharice Jones. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Turn it up. Like my sister. There we go. Okay, there we go. From 
the moment I saw you Even the people I was with, they knew you We all do this sometimes, you know I just call you my best friend To cover up what I felt when I was with you but baby, I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cook for you, I clean for you, I wash your clothes. But hey, baby, it ain't nothing for me. See, I'll disclose all my insecurities. Cause you're my baby. You're my baby, I hear y'all singing Baby, come on sing it real nice You're my baby, get that book from Willie Jolly Talking about them in 30 years of marriage Yeah, yeah, yeah You're my baby, you're my baby, 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 baby You're my baby, yeah, yeah Take the mic and come on down and sit on down. Wonderful. Thank you. Let me get some mic. Yes, Oh, okay. You didn't even want to sing. I didn't want to sing. I just wanted to know. No, no, no. Awesome. That's not what it was. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. I think I I think when you are a brand. You have a brand. You want to make sure that you walk in excellence. Yes. So if you want to make sure that everything stays in line, yes. then you do things that you know represents you in the best light yes. versus something yes. that could be not the best light, right? That's yeah. the light. So you just shared the light. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Absolutely. Baby, baby, well, thank you. Baby, baby, baby. Thank Is you very that much. Something that you wrote? Did you write that? Absolutely. Night? Yes, I wrote that song. That is actually on my album, Miss Jones, and I brought you guys a copy. Alan, yeah. can you um, pass that to me right sure. here in that card? And I want to present this to you all for yeah. Sisters Live for most certainly having me on your show. Yeah. Peggy is like my sister. I love her dearly. And I love you back. <laughs> this is nice. And so um, that that is something that I wrote. I um, took five years to write and produce my CD, and I own all the rights to it. And so I'm grateful for that. Um, and so, you know, that's why I want to make sure that people know. And absolutely, it's in the vein of taking things that I've experienced and things that people need to hear and put things in the positive light especially during the time of me too yeah. so you know yeah. i just want to change yeah. that die yeah. that diaphragm that diagram of like oh things are not always that great which is true but at the heart somebody is your baby and that's yeah. always going to be the case so yeah. we got to support those that are, that love us dearly now i remember when we all got together and came up to blues alley this is how bad she is blues <laughs> alley now Ooh, okay. okay and perform Mm. That was so awesome. Well, thank you. It was great because you guys came to my 10 o'clock show. The 8 o'clock show was sold out. Right. And um, Sister for Sister was like, yeah, we here. We're going to come to the 10 o'clock show <laughs> at Blues Alley up in Georgetown. And they that that love and that support of Makes a difference. everyone that's in Sisters for Sisters Network Incorporated, like that is legitimately the, the footprint of knowing how to genuinely support others yes. without yes. any kind of – um, hesitation, conflict, confusion. And I think also that is what stimulated my thought process behind creating my own radio show, um, Independent um, yeah. Artist Goals, which is what I'm wearing right now is our IAG shirt, but it's basically stemming from supporting independent artists and their goals and aspiring whatever that journey is and whatever passion that you're pursuing. We define independent artistry not just solely for those who are singers, but those who are authors, those who are entrepreneurs, those who are public speakers, chefs, whatever your calling is, that is independent artistry. And there so we want to make sure that we provide a platform for you that is welcoming and positive and, and you know, we keep on supporting each other. I love yes. it. I love well, we it. Thank you so Ooh. much for coming and Absolutely. taking time out of your day. And we will have you back. You sure, my right pleasure. We are going to come back. And anything, you have any information, like you want your website to go out Absolutely. There? Um, they can iTunes. definitely find everything on ShariceJones.com. Um, you can follow me at, at Sharice Reese. I feel like, which camera am I talking to? Yeah. This one right there, of course. My angles. So spelling my name is very simple. It means grace in Greek, but I'll spell it for you. C-H-A-R-I-S. 
and my last name is Jones. I think everybody got a last name, cousin named Jones. <laughs> but definitely, Sharice Reese is where you can find me on Instagram. You can follow the radio show at IAG Radio Show on all form of social media platforms. And again, I'm grateful that you all allowed me to come here today and play my song and sing yeah. the right way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Well, oh, thank you. I appreciate we that. We are so happy, but before we leave, we have to pay uh, some bills here as far as knowing who we are in our commercials. Right, right. And we would like for you to know that we are recording here live in a studio called Star Imports. It is the home of the boutique style buying experience. And Star Imports, Adele Motors, have hey, they have 50 years in the automotive industry. Mm -hmm. 50 years. So you could come here to Star Imports, purchase a car, buy your car, talk about getting into another car. But guess what? Bad credit, no problem. We have credit restoration programs to help you. Their credit application is on www.starimports.com. Star Imports donate a portion of its sales and giving back to the D.C., Maryland, and Virginia area. Charities such as D.C. STEM Network, National Museum of African American History and Culture, and Children and Girls, Inc. to help develop kids into becoming successful contri contributors to society and to help support institutions that preserve their history. So, thank you, Star Imports, for having us thank in you. your studio. That's right. It's exactly. Cool. Live for Sisters. There we go. This has been a great, great day, Woo! and we're going to go out on this note. Because it is Dr. Martin Luther King weekend, we cannot um, go without saying something in respect and homage to his wife, Coretta Scott King. That woman stood by him. Mm -hmm. She was his backbone. She was beside him, behind him, all around him. She had his back, as we say. And because of that, we definitely want to pay homage to, which is our segment of uh, Women in History, our legacy of women. And today we pay homage to Coretta Scott King. Linda, you have some information yes, you want to share do. on that? Um, excuse me. Can, we, can, can everyone see that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. This Beautiful. is a picture of our dear Mrs. Coretta, Coretta Scott King. And I'm going to keep it real short. I'm just no, going to, um, number one, we, we know she's an awesome woman, the woman behind the man, the, man. the lady mm -hmm. behind mm -hmm. the man. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to leave us with what Dr. Martin Luther King said about this lady, his wife. Mm -hmm. I am convinced that if I had not had a wife with the fortitude, the strength, and calmness of Coretta, I could not have stood up amid the ordeals and tensions surrounding the Montgomery movement. I can I came to see the real meaning of what that trite statement, a wife can either make or break a husband. <laughs> Coretta proved to be that type of wife with qualities to make a husband when he could have been so easily broken. In the darkest moments, she always brought the light of hope. Wow. From the, this came from Dr. Martin Luther King about his lady, his wonderful wife, the lady behind the man mm -hmm. and beside the man because right. there's so much information that I have, mm -hmm. but we'll get, we'll, I'll give you that information at another time. Thank yes. you so much Thank you. for sharing that. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We have a, to transition quickly into, we're going to go right into one of our segments that we are going to share with our other sisters, Sisters for Sisters Network. Uh-huh, continuing the conversation. Continuing the conversation. Yes. And let me, let me just say who we have. Um, we have the gracious <laughs> individual, Sharon J. Bullock, who is the owner of Metamorphosis Boutique. Mm -hmm. We also have Terry Tabar, who is the owner of Expression by Terry. And then is... Tony with us as well? Okay, and we have I, Tony. I'm on the phone. Can you hear me? Oh, there you go, oh, Terry. Terry. Hi, Terry. Terry Foster. Tony. Tony, Tony Foster. Tony. Foster. Okay. Uh, she's the owner of Critique Boutique. So we're going to transition in a few minutes, and then you will help, help these three young ladies. Yeah. Right. Okay? So we want you to stay tuned to come back next Saturday, but don't go anywhere right now, For but sure always you know. tune in to the Four Sisters Live every Saturday at 1230. What time is it? Amen. What time what is, is it? it? What what time is it? What time, <laughs> what time is it? It's time, time for, for you, you to walk, walk in your purpose 
and prosperity. prosperity. Woo! So, Nana got a rock with us, man. We got a rock. Come on, come on. Come on, come on.